Well, this round keeps getting better, doesn't it? Now I'm really in the garbage. I'm really in the trash. Uh, I found my ball here. It, this is my ball. I can identify it. Got a three with a blue dot next to it, right? That's my ball. It's in a movable obstruction. Now, when a ball is in or on a movable obstruction here, it's obviously not touching any part of the golf course. It's touching they're in and on and supported by a movable obstruction. So in this case, what we're allowed to do is remove the movable obstruction, uh, use the spot underneath the movable obstruction, thereabouts, an estimator where the ball is at rest, and then drop a ball uh, in a one clubbing to relief area. Now, I can use the ball in the trash can. I'm not going to. I can use a new ball. So what we're going to do, I've got a reference point. I've got an idea of where it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the trash can here. All right, so now we've moved the movable obstruction, right? And now, again, we're estimating about on the golf course where the ball was lying directly on top or in the movable obstruction. So it was in this part of the movable obstruction and this part of the trash can. So we're going to say it was lying right here. That's where it was lying, suspended in the trash can. From this spot, I get one club length, no closer to the hole. So I'm going to measure here. So one club length, no closer to the hole. Now, I'm not going to use the ball that I was originally playing. I'm going to substitute a ball, which is fine in this case. Drop from knee heights. Come to the rest of the leaf area. Ball's in play. No penalty. 